And I know you shouldn't take this advice, but make sure you're really drunk when you drive. This is an advice podcast. Yes. What What is the best advice you think you've ever got? Oh, man. Wow, dude, what a heavy bomb to drop. <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy drop. Jeez, that was like a, a that one. I felt that one in my chest. Um, the best advice I ever got. Uh, yeah. I, okay, this is let it dude, marinate. I don't know. It's like it isn't too this too this? sentimental to get into? Like three minutes in, uh, I had a friend uh, one time, a guy I used to play baseball with. Uh, I ran into him at a bar, and at the time I was doing comedy, kind of like, you know, sparsely. Yeah, a little off and on. Yeah, hobbying. And uh, I ran into my friend at a bar, and uh, he was actually working for a heating and air conditioning company at the time. God damn. And uh, I asked him, I was like, how's work been? And he's like, oh, I'm, I quit that job. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm, I'm selling brothers. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> I'm selling bells to brothers. <laughs> um, he, uh, he was like, I'm coaching uh, like travel baseball. He's God like, damn. I'm working for a team that is paying me enough money that I quit my job. Are you fucking with me? And is this the just the uh, the plot line to Hard Knocks? No, <laughs> no, this is a Hardball. No, hardball. Is no, this, this, is, this, this is movie? this is real. And uh, he goes, he's like telling me that he's like doing this, and I'm like, wow, this is pretty crazy. I'm like, what made you do that? And he's like, you know, I realized if I knew as much about the stock market as I know about baseball. I'd be a stockbroker. God damn, dude. He's like, so why am I not trying to make all my money off what I know the most about? Yeah, and I've then, been wasting my fucking potential selling bells to brothers yeah, so for years just now. Just wasting everyone's time. <laughs> no one's buying it. it. I'm just knocking. <laughs> Is it my fault my business hours are midnight to 4 a.m. where I'm yeah. going door to door knocking on people's <laughs> houses trying to sell them bells? Uh, after they hated my <laughs> Semper Fi inscripted bells <laughs> <laughs> idea... I was done. It's a, it's a free bell if you refer one brother. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I just, when he told me that, I was just, fuck you, dude. You, you asked me for the best advice I ever got, and then I'm, like, getting all sentimental, and you're just jumping in with <laughs> fucking Bell Brothers fuck jokes. You, I'm over here pouring my heart out four uh, minutes into a podcast, half a glass of water in. Yeah. Anyway. No, he just, yeah. It was, uh, that was kind of the moment I was like, well, if I really want to do something that I care about, I should do something I know a lot about. And I was like, I know. Put it all in. I like, I like comedy a lot. You know what I mean? So that was. Put it all in. I was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah put it all on the table. I mean, Bell's Brothers aside, uh, that's amazing advice. Yeah. Yeah. I like to, I, I like to think so. I think it, uh, it was wise beyond what I was yeah. expecting as an answer for oh. sure. Soup. I would not expect that answer out of a traveling baseball coach. <laughs> yeah, that's not the guy you expect. Yeah, I'm like, why'd you quit? He's like, game is calling me. That was the kind of answer you expected. Yeah, I, I heard these kids needed me. Is that the kind of stuff? Something a yeah. traveling baseball coach. There's, this, there's this pitcher in Utah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like chicks, man. That's why <laughs> chicks love youth baseball coaches. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that answer out of a guy who's wearing those ginormous yeah. reflective sunglasses. Yeah, Oakleys. Yeah, some Oakley radars. Shout out all my baseball heads out there. Were you were you a sports kid? I uh, I played baseball. I think from from like farm the step above like t ball. Yeah. So where like the dads are pitching. Sure. To I think eighth grade. Oh, okay. So I, I balled. Yeah, you played like all the way through, through Little League. Yeah, then, Little basically. League, and I played, I, I did not play baseball in high school. I, yeah. I wasn't cut out for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did lacrosse Not many football. are, dude. Oh, the fucking dude. The few, competition. The, the few, the proud. The high school baseball players. You were fucking, you were a seed chewer, dude? Yeah, oh yeah, dude. I was, I was, I was the guy. No, I'm joking. I sucked. <laughs> That's the funny truth about it is like, every in town, like I'm like, I think I get like a jock reputation because I like sports. Do you? Yeah, people often are like, people have called me a jock comic. Well, I'm I like, guess what it, is that? I guess in like the Sacramento comic world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you're what the I mean. closest thing to it. Right. Yes, I resemble high school bully quite yeah. closely. <laughs> Which is a good look, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I, I think it looks awful. I'm trying to figure out how to change it constantly. I'm like, how can I look less like a guy 
who's it sitting in a yeah. principal's office. I could see you like throwing wet paper towels while people are trying to take shit. Yeah, and... no, I'm doing spitballs in the <laughs> yeah. cafeteria. That that is the energy I'd like to bring to everything. Yeah, I'm gonna take your milk. Yeah, money. disruptor, but like innocently, because <laughs> like bullies in high school are mean when you're in high school, but a guy yeah. like that in the real world is just like minorly annoying. Not for sure. You know what I mean? Like balls at the office. A guy who's just like just smacks you upside the back of the head every once in a while. Yeah. Like that guy torments you when you're 14, but in real life, that guy, you're just like, yeah. can we fire this guy yet? Like, uh, hell yeah, hell yeah, what? Hell yeah, hell yeah. And I know it ain't right, and I know it ain't right, and I know you shouldn't take this advice, but make sure you're really drunk when you drive and walk up some glass with no shoes on and no paper.